your water cusps to your sharper reading for June. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. This is for Libra Scorpio cusp, Aqua Pisces cusp, and Gemini Cancer cusp. Welcome, welcome, guys. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you in your reading. Coming straight in here, we have... Dun, dun, dun relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Yes. Love that. People that you are interconnected with. People of your soul tribe. People who want to help you. People who care about what you're doing. Right? Who serve your higher good. Those people who give you lower energy, they are not good for you. So you want to make sure that you are kind of distancing yourself away from those people this month. So that way you feel like, you know what, who I hang around with is what really builds my self-confidence, builds me up. You want to be around people who build you up. I do feel like there is a relationship that is coming towards you um, or that you're just attracting at this time, um, right? Because the reason I say that is because of the Life of Purpose card 22, so you either have this person coming in with the 22, Spirit is saying they're on their way, or they just have arrived um, for your life purpose. And the reason they're here is to build that self-confidence, to build you up, to inspire you, right? Raise the vibration. Love it. There it is. Raise the vibration. Keep yourself at a higher vibration. Your highest good is a higher vibration. When you're laughing and you're having a good time, that's good, right? Right? But they're also there, too, when you can feel down, when you can feel these things. But they can also help lift you and inspire you when we are down in a lower vibration. Right? So, very, very good. And you have within the next few weeks, or some of you, this person will arrive within the next few weeks. If you have just met this person, you will really feel like within the next few weeks that they really are a part of your higher good. Okay, so take that. It's going to be a little bit different for everybody. And take that how it resonates. I'm going to also, in case it's a love that's coming through, since this is relationship, I'm going to pull a love card. You never know, right? Clarify spirit on this relationship in the next few weeks of love. Whoa. Yeah. For some of you, it is definitely giving this relationship a chance. Work on your partnership, right? So if they do come in and you're just like, mm, I'm not sure yet, you will realize within the next few weeks that this person is good for you. This person is, right, going to be for your higher good and is a part of your life purpose. You might not feel it right now. Um, you might, or they're not here yet and you don't know it yet, whether it is love or a Platonic relationship, yeah, for some of you, it's calling in a soulmate, yeah, thank you, spirit, okay, but <clears throat> some of you, it might even be on the workplace, right, I have finances career at the bottom of the deck, so it also could be at the workplace, um, however it is, whether it's platonic or it is a love relationship, um, for, you know, a lot of you, I feel like it is definitely um, going to be on that love area, um, but no matter what it is, right, this is a person who I feel is a part of your soul tribe. They could be definitely a soul mate, whether, like I said, no matter what it is, <clears throat> you're going to run into this person within the next few weeks or you already have in the next few weeks you realize, who is this person? I'm going to give this person more of a chance because um, I'm starting to notice how they really are the here for my better, higher they're putting your life for a reason, guys. And the reason for most of you is because you called in a soulmate. You need that best friend, here they come. You need that love, here it comes. Right? They're there for this reason. Part of your fated journey. So we want to make sure that you are keeping yourself at a higher vibration and allowing them to do so. Page of Pentacles could be dealing with a... Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. Wow. Okay. This could be something that you have manifested, um, and then that's how you called in this soulmate, through manifestation, whether, you know, however. 
whether it was just through words, thinking, however, or your soul said, I had enough, we need someone coming through. Um, but it also could be that, you know, it's that development between the two of you, really developing a, a connection. Wow. We have the movement of the chariot, having that progress and that action, feeling like, you know what, there is this courage that they're building. They're going to be building up this courage. Right. And having a lot of control over here, bringing back that willpower within your, within you. Love it. And within the next few weeks, we have the Knight of Swords, bringing in that ambitious, driven to succeed, fast thinking. And, you know, and it does feel like that's the thing. It's like there's going to be a lot of fast thinking going on over here. Right. You're going to be thinking, you know, hey, wait, what's going on over here? Something's going on, right, with this person. This person is, yeah, bringing in the inspiration that I need. They are full of ideas. They are there for me. They're a free spirit. They like to explore. They're full of excitement, and they make me feel really free, just really free. There's a lot of freedom going on over here, and freedom from the negative energies. Freedom, right, from the everyday hustle and bustle of what you deal with when you're dealing with people. You could even be freeing old luggage, old baggage of vibrational energy that you had from a past relationship. Maybe they're listening, you know, to your stories, helping you work through things, offering over here. Wow. Yeah, offering for a lot of you, it's new love. Offering you this love. They want to be curious about you, and you. I feel like you're going to be a little curious about them, right? Because you're going to be like, hmm. But there's a lot of possibilities within the situation. That's why it says give this relationship a chance, right? Even if they're a little fast thinking and it feels like they're asking too many questions too fast, don't just throw that away, my friends, right? They're here to get you balanced. They're here for that communication. They're here to learn about you. They're here because they were called in. You called them in one way or another, right? Whether you did or your soul did, it doesn't matter. They're here for the life purpose. If the soul called it in, that's a part of the life purpose. Right. And here it is planning the actions, progress, making the decisions, discovering things about each other. Right. Finding things. But they're going to make you feel so good. Right. You might even have leaving home and travel plans. Right. Maybe you're going to travel with them. Maybe you're going to make decisions about traveling towards them. Right. Maybe you met them on the Internet. Who knows? And you want to travel to go meet them in person. Um, However it is, though, it does feel like this is where the new world kind of starts. This is where things really start getting together uh, for you. This person is a, vision, a visionary and a leader. This person, you know, they have a lot of inspiring words. They know how to um, take, take on challenges, overcome challenges. They're very mature. And this is the type of person you need in your life, right? Because they're the ones that say, we don't need to look at it from this perspective. Go ahead and, you know, throw away that negative energy and let's, let's, you know, you tell me what's going on and then I'm going to show you, right, how we're going to get through these things. Wow, I love this person. It could definitely be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or an Aries who is just taking the role over here for you and saying, you know what, but they could even have cancer in their chart or some kind of water in their chart or it could be the other way around. I'm feeling a lot of water and a lot of fire. And I'm telling you right now, it's just kind of like, you know what, this is the hope and calm that I've been looking for. This is where they're bringing in that perp. There it is, the life purpose. They're bringing in. They're here for a purpose. This is a beautiful soul card as well. Anytime we see stars, we see the sun. The sun is a star. We know this is about spiritual fortune, spirituality, the soul. So they're saying, I'm a soulmate. I'm telling you, they're telling you, you're a soulmate. They're a soulmate, and they're here for a reason. They may even know it. You may even feel it. In the end, in a few weeks, maybe you end up feeling that they are here for a life purpose. Where did I find this person? Right? But they are full of wishful thinking. They have dreams. They get you searching for the purpose again. Have you daydreaming, dreaming, dreaming, dream, dream, dream. Why? Because they fill you full of choices and opportunities and they lift you. They say, well, what if you wanted to do this? What if you wanted to do that? Wow. So the purpose on the purpose of the purpose. You got three cards of purpose on the purpose. Wow. 
So wherever you felt like you were at a standstill, you were having delays, your indecision about situations, this person can bring up things to get your chakras in a row and say, let's talk with the, with the communication of the throat chakra, opening up that throat chakra, chakra of creativity, right, of dreams and communication, and they're great listeners, right? Could also be dealing with, oh, I already said water. I got a lot of water over here. Also have a lot of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But yeah, they're bringing all of those things that you felt like you were kind of at a standstill about to a resolution to where you're going to feel like you actually can build something. You have something that you can start really working on and really recognizing. Look at that. Yeah, feeling like you have the, the rewards. Feeling like, you know what, everything that I'm doing, I'm putting together. Some of you are definitely traveling with this person or traveling towards this person. It could even be just within the few weeks you are traveling towards this person either more, right, or they're coming in. Um, but however it is, and the, see the bird over here is representing that freedom again. So really building and seeing all of the achievements that you're putting into the relationship and how they are actually, you know, working with you. And you're probably going to see them as the Nine of Pentacles, Right. As you are becoming the Nine of Pentacles, they are definitely going to be your Nine of Pentacles because you're going to see this person as self-sufficient within their energy and the way that they do things. You may even have a lot of money, right? So because the King of Wands says, I built this from the ground up, right? So you could say, okay, so they could actually be helping you. Yes, stay balanced, stay in control, stay frugal of your own money, right? Wow. And I feel like that's what they've been doing as well. They've been very frugal with their money. They know how to hold on to money. They know how to make money. So I feel like this person can do a lot of great things for you, not just raising the vibrations, but also inspiring you to get out there, dream, make your dreams come true. It feels like they've worked their way all the way up to the top one way or another, and they're building you up, building you up the way you haven't been built up for a while. Very beautiful reading. Let's see what's going on over here. Getting some daily healing affirmations. Develop awe and reverence for life. Love that. Okay. And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.